What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out 5 mobile gaming accessories all under $50. So definitely affordable options for you guys. If you want to take your mobile gaming experience to the next level, and if you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. First up are a pair of removable triggers. These are from company Get Triggered. They're exactly what you think they are, triggers for your phone to aim and shoot. Now most mobile games like Fortnite and PUBG let you customize the controls and the settings. So for here in PUBG, I'm just moving the aim and the shoot buttons to the top to align them with where the triggers would be. And then from there, once you snap them into place and align them properly, they're gonna act as actual triggers. And you can see too, it's all real time. The second I press down on them is the exact same time that I shoot. These are said to work with a lot of mobile shooters. They have listed uh, rules of survival, knives out, survivor royale, critical ops, etc. I've only ever played PUBG and Fortnite, and I had no issues with them. And to assure these don't fall off while you're gaming, on the back they have little clips that fold down to secure it into place. Now I have seen people like DIY these with rigging like tin foil, but these are actually legit and it does come with a carrying case as well so you don't lose them and they just work no issues out of the box. There are a ton of these on Amazon, but these in particular are picked up for only $9.99. So if you need something like this to add to your mobile gaming experience to take it to the next level, then I got you back. And by the way, before we move on to the next item, I know I'll get asked about the phone, but the one I'm using here is the Razer phone, mainly because this is targeted for gamers, so that's obviously important and fitting, but it has a great battery life, it's got eight gigs of RAM, which is about like what some people have in their own dedicated PC. And the display on this is 1440 by 2560, with a 120 hertz refresh rate, so gaming on this just looks and feels incredible. I'm sure you already know about it, I just wanna let you know, cause like I said, I know I'm gonna see it in the comments, and yes, it's worth it. Next up, we have two dedicated gaming controllers for Android. And first is the Docky Wireless. This is a controller that expands outwards. So you can put your phone in the middle, kind of now resembling a Nintendo Switch. And this is one of the highest rated of its kind. Tons of great reviews. Then we have the GameSir G4. This controller slightly resembles the look and layout of like an Xbox One Elite controller, just more plastic. But this has a built-in flip out holder so you can mount your phone on the controller. Now why these are important is because if you're gonna actually use a dedicated controller, whether it be for you know, gaming on your phone or using something like Shadowplay or Steam Link or Moonlight, you can hold your controller and the phone at the same time with your hands. So having controllers that let you mount it or clutch. With the G4 controller, it's your standard layout, has nice rubber padding on the handles for enhanced grip, and you can always rebind the turbo and the clear buttons to be extra functions in game. But I mean, it looks nice, I had no issues connecting whatsoever, and having my phone here just mounted on top for me is a key selling point. Then when I'm done gaming, you just fold it back down and be on your way. This comes in at $36. Then that'll lead us back into the docky, which by itself is pretty small, but it expands to hold devices up to six and a half inches horizontally. Or you could still use your phone vertically if you have games like that. This one ergonomically I think is designed the best since it's just like all one unit. Although the quality on this does feel cheaper and more lightweight than I'd like, but at the same time, you know, it does have to be flexible enough if I want to keep adjusting it and expanding it, so that's understandable. At $38, this is definitely a killer option. Now a lot of people out there might prefer to use their own controller, like I said before, whether it be for mobile gaming or streaming games to your phone, and there's no more of a convenient way to do that with a controller you might already have with your PS4, and that is the DualShock PS4 controller. If you want to use this, you can pick up a clip as well that lets you mount your phone to the controller. This is pretty self-explanatory, and if you do have a PS4 controller, then this is gonna be perfect. The top mount is adjustable for setting different viewing angles, and the shell itself has cutouts, so you can still access all your ports on the controller, which is really awesome. I feel like most companies would overlook details like that. This one is from Mega Dream, it's only like $12, and lets you use any phone that can mount in the three and a half inch tray once expanded. So while all DualShock controllers already have Bluetooth built in, this mount also includes a micro USB to micro USB cable. That's for connecting your phone to the controller if you wanna use it wired, thought that was nice as well. Picking up one of these is gonna make gaming a breeze because overall, PS4 controllers are one of the most popular in the world and themselves are also under $50, so I'll also put one of these in the description down below as well. And then are gonna be some power banks. While boring, they're definitely necessary, especially if you're gaming a lot when you're out and about, you're probably gonna need a little extra juice to recharge your phone. Now, most phones are around 3,000 milliamp hours and the Razer phone that I've been using is 4,000 milliamp hours or ma. Hey ma! The meatloaf! So picking up a battery bank under 5,000 milliamp hours would be best. These are definitely more affordable now since over the years, every company and their ma started putting them out. Ma, the meatloaf! 
So I'd even recommend picking up a 10,000 or a 20,000 milliamp hour version. That'll give you at least three full charges depending on your phone for 10,000. And obviously 20,000 milliamp hour is gonna have you covered for a while. I'll leave a few links for you guys for different ones. I always have some on me when I'm traveling. So finding ones that are small, lightweight, but still powerful are key. All right guys, that'll wrap it up for this video on five mobile gaming accessories under $50. I hope you enjoyed. I wasn't wearing pants for any of this review, but like I said, if you want to check out any of the products I showed off, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below. I'll even put the Razer phone if you want to check that out, even though it's not $50. That's all right. So if you liked the review, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. The Meatloaf!